Okay, so we're going to give Melvin a drug which will make him stupider and therefore easier to manipulate. I should test to see if I am percussion. Yeah, I think I might do that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll reset the alphabet. Q U E C A R Y U. That's not it. Find establishment B. B. R. C. T. U. R. E. Doctor C. S. Wilson. Doctor C. S. Wilson. They treat percussions. How good? I do. Smell of the camera. Oh, my God. Right to swallow. Have a seat. Lie down. I'm the doctor. You're the idiot patient. <clears throat> Job today. Yeah, I'm girl, I'm girl. Don't get a fellow. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you to your bedroom. Thank you. The smile dial doesn't work. Now, did you see the picture? I sent you an email. They're creepy, even for me. I'll try that tomorrow. Okay. How's the cloning machine? Very good. Maybe Melvin can help us with that also.
with the antidote. Nonetheless, I suggest you smile for the camera. No. decided to smile for the camera yet. Officer uh, Jim Jim Warren, and uh, I'm I'm here. I have the honor of telling you the unfortunate news that your dad has perished in a terrible fire. Good, good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Hey man, it happens. Yeah, I'm jealous. But anyway, um, but your dad, he he had like uh, you know, like he never filed for bankruptcy, right? So like, the Smile Bank is foreclosing on your home. And, and unlike unlike a lot of other orphans, you have uh, no fortune to uh, fall back onto. So, so homeless? Well, I mean, that's a pretty strong word, wouldn't you say? I'd say that's a pretty strong word. I'd say that is pretty yeah, strong. I mean, I but but it. basically, yeah. Uh -oh. Have a good day. Cameraman, what's this? Well, my favorite dish is kibas and sauerkraut. And I thought you also might enjoy it. Except, um, I couldn't find any pull of sausage in the freezer, so I had to go with breakfast sausage. Uh, well, well, that works out because, you know, it is uh, breakfast time, morning. <laughs> <laughs> Royal people don't eat this, and royal people cannot eat this. <laughs> hey, do you have any uh, fresh vegetables? What the what? What? Well, let's get started, shall we? As you know, my name is Cameraman. I was able to speak with Grayson. Edward, Tom, Marco, George, and uh, Cunningham, I will need to work with you right after breakfast. I must tell you all a long, sad, but true <laughs> story about some of them in this year. One, two, three. About ten years ago, your mother gave birth to eight children, all at once. But, but there are seven of us. Indeed, Tom. And that's because the eighth, Melvin, is a miserable, malicious little miser. Miser. <laughs> Melvin, so greedy, that A long time ago, while well, he asked for his inheritance, 
before he was of age. So is uh, Melvin the prodigal son, except he hasn't returned to his father yet? No. Because Melvin also asked for all of your inheritances. I don't think. My thoughts exactly, Edward. And apparently your parents agreed because they said no. And you know what Melvin did? Well, he locked them in a doorless cell and stole all of their monies! He was only four. The seven of you were held suspect and found guilty. Well, Melvin framed you, of course. Um, the judge thought that you should get the news for hanging your parents. Uh, I, I thought we locked them in a doorless cell. Journalistic imagination. Gosh, Tom. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. But the people, especially your parents, couldn't bear to see three-year-olds hanged. So, he decided to put you in a permanent coma instead. Never to be woken again. Because I guess that's technically different from death. But I, C.M. William, FBI, I just, I, I knew you were innocent. And so for the past several years, I've been hardly working to prove your innocence. And do you think I did? I did, yeah. Uh, and with the help of an old friend called Dr. Wilson, I was able to wake you from your sleepies. But Melvin is still out there. And there's no telling how many smiles he is stealing. That's why I need your help. I believe in justice. I believe in revenge. I believe in gain. And I believe in photography. Come. Let's take revenge on Melvin. Yeah! Woo. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, what will we actually be doing, huh? Um, ah, here it is. You'll be putting those posters up all over town. Nah, I <laughs> might have to sell this for some money. <laughs> I'll also keep an eye out for Melvin. What, what do we do if uh, we we get lost? Hmm. Just uh, play solitaire. Someone is sure to find you and give you a hand. I shall sit here, scientifically, mathematically, and artistically. The law of gravity. So, yeah. Cameron, what did you want to talk to me? about today. Tell me. Well, uh, uh, scientifically. Come here, we, we get it. Now surely you realize the truth of your situation. I do not. We, we, we went with the clues I dropped. Uh, uh, well, no, um, but Melvin was five, four, five, yeah, four, four yeah, as four. I recall, yeah, when he, uh, killed our parents. Oh, wait. No, he locked them up. Or did he kill them? Which is it? Huh. Also, I had said you were three and born on the same day. I shall solve this mystery scientifically, mathematically. I'll just and tell you. But you must promise to tell no one. Uh, like pink is promised. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. None of your brothers. You're all Melvin's clones. I knew it! I have solved the mystery to this question. Answer scientifically, mathematically, and all. I just told you, actually. You're all clones. But that doesn't mean that everything I told you was untrue. Melvin still is bad, and he still has done evil things to his parents. Why are you telling me this? I'm putting you in charge of your brothers. And if something goes wrong, I want to have someone to play. Uh, 
you are very sweet. Uh, and at two. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Ten minutes. In a couple hours, we move out for justice, revenge, yay, and photography. <laughs> we move out scientifically, mathematically, and all artistically. We should put up the sign scientifically, mathematically, and artistically. Oh, that's a good knife. Oh, I opened it this way. I'll show you. And I'll stay now. <laughs> I think I heard something. Why are people do not climb mountains? This is not. I think most of my people is first. Just when Cunningham said they heard something one day put up a sight. I said royal people shall not climb mountains. And I said this is nothing. It's a hill made out of stone. If you don't come up here right now, I'm leaving you here all alone by yourself. Alone? Oh, fine! Oh. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. Here I Here I am. Here I am. Here I No, I didn't actually. <laughs> That's because Tom and said to yourself, aren't good lookers and got my eyes like me. Oh yeah. But your boy Prince Grisha found it. Yeah. All by myself, so. Oh well. <laughs> found him napping in the shelter. Yeah. Found his photograph. But to match his face, though it appeared to be a color. Where's his shelter? Now, a boy to rise you, and I shall not tell you. Your principalness, I beseech thee. Give me a break. I'll put you in charge of your brothers. Follow me. Follow me, follow me. And there you have a... Uh, uh, it was right there, I swore. You should just swear. I think you lied to me. I think you lied to me so I promote you. Well, you're fired now. And I am in charge anyways. Let's go find time for so that he thinks I'm right about the song. No! Where am I? Oh, well, this it's a trail, though. So maybe this is a trail because it, maybe a lot of leaves didn't fall here. Or, or maybe a lot of people just walk here even though they're not supposed to. Or maybe uh, people tried to rake here, but they just gave up. Maybe all of them at once. Huh. Well, I am lost. Can I have Caravan George? Well, oh, maybe I'll play a solid here and Caravan will find me. Put a queen there. Caravan! I knew you'd find me! Oh, oh. They're the same. 
Ah, I see what's happening. Uh, hey, do you put a chance to have my money? Oh. <laughs> Grayson. Wasting my time. And then me stray. In fact, he led us all astray in our quest to bring Milton to justice and make him smile for the camera once and for all. Melvin Mel, Mel, Mel tricked me. <sighs> How can you even look at him? I have to get away. I have to go to the uh, Big Apple anyways for a project. Oh, oh why do you have to go to the... Uh, whoa! Oh, Big Mac. Oh, I have to go um, make a smiley dog. It's going to take all winter, so I'll be back in the spring. Uh, will the smiley dog help with Melvin? Oh yeah, I will. Now in the meantime, keep putting the posters up and looking for Melvin. Uh, guys, I think cameraman's back. He is. Did, did you find Melvin? Uh, uh, no, but I made the smiley drug. Uh, how does that help? Uh, it, it does, just, just trust me. No, no, no. I have a task for you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to the police station this evening to inquire about the Melvin case. And I need you to make a fake driver's license for me. Oh, why do you need a fake driver's license? Because mine is expired and I'm going to the DMV is too inconvenient. Uh, what, what should I put on? Oh, it's a tough one! Maybe... My name is William Sam. I'm allowed to cut down trees and drive vroom vroom. Okay. My name is oh William Calcium and I am allowed to cut down trees and drive vroom 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 You'll figure it out uh, So what will we be doing cameraman? Looking for Melvin Ah uh, yeah we've definitely been uh, looking for Melvin Right Yeah Uh clean up otherwise you don't get any kibasa and sauerkraut for breakfast I have found the cup of Bill's Bayon. You found that in the butler's pantry. What's he look like? We will find out scientifically. He well, looks like you. What do I look like? Like me. What's in your pocket, Chester? Dental floss. Since we might be here for a few days, gotta keep up the old hygiene. Yep. Be hard to brush my teeth in these parts. So, this could be done. I want some donuts. I ordered some on Amazon last night. Oh, that must be Wait a minute. C.M. Williams. You're the guy from the poster? No, I'm not. I'm the guy who's supposed to do the thing for him to. Ah, win the caption. Yeah, what? You could have said. Capture him, yeah. Thank you. You're from the FBI, right? You got a badge? Yeah. Uh, mm. Alright, mm, alright, that looks legit. So, 
Who's Melvin? Any ideas? You know? We shall think of them scientifically, mathematically, and artistically. Marco hasn't thought of one, but he will. Marco! Marco, the warrior! Uh, uh, uh. Take Cunningham. Maybe Melvin will come down here to the valley. Protection from wind and elements. Think of, think of that, laddie. That is you're smart enough to knock our parents up in a doorless cell and steal all their money, you'll be down here. I am thought of an idea scientifically. Chester, you're a boss. Well, I guess he has to have clean teeth when camp man takes his picture. It's for a trap, like snare. That story with the donuts. Mm. So, you're, you're sure you find nothing else concerning this Melvin case? I, for my assistance, place these posters all over town. No, he, uh, you know, he resembles a lad that's uh, been terrorized by, by a certain cameraman. And that's about it. What do you know of this cameraman? Well, he runs, uh, you see, a Rouget Corporation. And uh, he takes pictures of people, and he created a drug to make people smile for the camera. Whoa. You know more than I thought. Is that because we're not FBI? Yes. Ah, wait, that almost sounds suspicious. Jim, when did you order those donuts? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday? That was two days ago. Was yes. that on Amazon? Yeah. It's just ridiculous. It's not going to be ridiculous. I'm going to go to the store. Why are you bringing the knife? Well, Alter, thank you for your time. <laughs> yes, problem. Yeah, it was worth. Yeah, yes, problem. Leave. Leave, leave. Leave. Hey! hey, hey. You drop. Oh. Uh, what is this? C.M. William? Where have I heard that name before? Cameraman Industries President. Must be a janitor. Wait, this guy. I've seen this guy. He works either at the local Dairy Bean. Or the FBI. And the dairy bean is closed, so he must work at the FBI. When did I last see this guy? I saw your little car chase back there, and I, th I thought you had some good driving. I wanted to give you a gold star. If you have a license, oh, I yeah. can see. Let's try this up. Let me see. Uh, huh. I am C.M. William. I am allowed to cut down trees and drive vroom vroom. Approved by the police and the donuts we ate this morning. Okay, that seems legit. Wait a minute. We don't issue handwritten licenses. No, 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 no. We, this is, this is illegal. We don't issue these. You're gonna, where'd it go? Wait a minute. That wasn't CM William. That was cameraman. Are you anywhere near Melvin? Yes, he's here in the valley. Do whatever it takes to get your cunning hands on him. Of course. Scientifically. Get on with it. Wait, wait, do not kill him. Do whatever it takes, but do not kill him. Okay. This is for justice, brothers. And war. And honor. And monetary gain. And science. Math. And art. Aren't you going to shoot? 
I'll, I'm gonna wait until the trips. Good work, clones. It's getting late, so I suggest you find a campsite. In the morning, Melvin will smile for the camera. <laughs> Scientifically, mathematically, and artistically. Cunningham, you found us a campsite. Is it free? We don't have any money. Money, 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 money. Cunningham, cameraman called us clones. This is the campsite? Of course it is. It's what we needed. It's free. I uh, guess we'll be sleeping in the carriage tonight. <laughs> okay, um, who, uh, where, when, and why do we eat? I figured we're on a road, and the road's uh, basically a wide trail. And what's a classic snack? Trail mix. Hey. Will, will they even let us have a campfire? No. But, I figure if I light this match and we all stand around it, we'll be good. Well, I guess Melvin might still be a bad guy, despite what even if what cameraman said was false. But why would a cameraman lie to us? <laughs> Brothers, call us what we are, Cunningham. Call us clones. Maybe we are clones. Maybe we're on a wild goose chase. But we are still brothers. Even if Melvin isn't our enemy. What do you mean? Maybe clones. I heard cameraman with my own mouth. We're clones. Maybe we should ask Melvin himself. Whose side are you on? You trust a murderer? Melko the warrior has no trust issues. I'll go get him kind of him. You know, guys, uh, he's gone. Now look what you did, Cunningham. If you hadn't delayed so long in questioning Melvin, you would not have escaped. If I hadn't delayed, it was you who was delaying. If you hadn't been delaying unscientifically, unmathematically, and un- No, uh, no, no, I'm just trying. All right, let's go find Melvin before it gets too far away. What, what do you care, Edward? You would have abandoned us in a heartbeat. If you could get more money. Yes. Ah, uh, no. I <laughs> would not. Edward is loyal. For money? I bet you'd leave us. I bet not. Okay. If you leave us in the next three days, you have to pay us all the money you earn. What about my reward? This bit is unfair and illegitimate. Okay. Maybe I'm gonna go to bed. Maybe we should look for him tomorrow. Huh. 
Nice head. I think it's a knife. <laughs> I get neutralized. <laughs> oh, ah, loving my lunch. <laughs> I am your uncle uh, Cunningham. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I never knew I had an uncle. Oh, well, yeah, um, it's been a work. Uh, I've been trying to save you from uh, whatever else you have. Oh, well, this is uh, just. Here we got a guy called uh, Caraman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, another one. How old are you, my lad? Um, uh, I'm 15, I think. Ah, yes, good, good, good. 15. Uh, well, I have come to take you to a place called a uh, 15 year old heaven. And I have a can of. Uh, the uh, cheeseburgers, and uh, I mean, who doesn't like cheeseburgers? Am I right, Melvin, my lord? Well, I, I guess I, I, I like cheeseburgers. Good, 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 good. Because that's only the tip of the lettuce, you know? Because where I'm taking you, you can do whatever a 15-year-old wants to do, and what the 15... Uh, uh, will I be safe from cameraman? Uh, safe from uh, who? Uh, cameraman? <laughs> Why, of course! Uh, so, are we going to the car now? Uh, car? But, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. Car, yeah. Cameraman? Uh, we got him back. <laughs> Bet you didn't find him. <laughs> Well, of course we did. We found him in the woods. All right, let's load up. Yep, uh, and it's off to 15-year-old heaven. Uh, are, are we gonna wait for a diag? No. Say, uh, Cunningham, what do you mean we're taking that guy to 15-year-old uh, heaven? Aren't we taking him to uh, Cameraman HQ? <laughs> uh, it, it's okay. I could tell who you were, and I'm okay being kidnapped by a cameraman's henchman if it means seeing him behind bars eventually. <laughs> and I say unto you, welcome, buddy. Normally I would tell you to have a seat and lie down, but uh, given the circumstances, I don't think that will be necessary. Hello, hello, hello. My sources tell me your name is Melvin. Yes, sir, I'm Melvin Brown. How convenient for you to have such a common surname so as to more easily escape a rogue businessman. Well, it certainly has helped, sir. That's nice. My name is Dr. Wilson. You'll be safe with me, Dr. Wilson. My sources tell me that you've been shot. Well, I, I don't think Mr. Brown, do guns shoot people? I suppose so, yes. And did you hear a gunshot? Yes. Therefore you were shot. Uh, couldn't it have been someone else? Alvin, I did not get a head in medicine by looking at the details. I got a head by looking at the heads. <laughs> Not that it matters what you think anyways. <laughs> Science has proven it to be true. See, I watched a BBC documentary and I know what to look for in gunshot wounds. <laughs> no, why did you ask? I can explain the two routes you could take with this wound of yours. The first would be to go to a regular hospital 
and hope. Hope, mind you. And to heal, after waiting there for years and years, and piling up debt on your children's children. <laughs> the alternative is quite risky, but should it work, it will render much faster results. What is it? A drug! <laughs> a vaccine! A, a vaccine? Uh, I don't know about those. I mean, those are for sick people, and I mean, uh, I'm not sick. I, uh, uh, my, my source is telling me the bullet was poisoned. A poison bullet? Well, I've never heard of one of those. That's because people who get shot by them almost always die, so they can't tell anyone. Oh, but aren't you? Well, Doctor, I've had a bad run-ins with vaccines. You see, there was this man and cameraman who uh, uh, gave me a vaccine, and boy, man, it did bad things. It altered my mind. Uh, you had the antidote, I presume? How does everybody know I took the antidote? Uh, doctor, I, I'll take the traditional hospital. No, you won't! You already said share to this procedure. I, I, Open wide. What? <coughs> ah. <coughs> what? Ah. <laughs> I have found the folder. Scientifically, mathematically, and artistically. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Hmm. Ah, uh, Cameraman Industries. Wild boy. Dr. William. Huh. Uh, Clone Melvin, DNA, capture Melvin, drug, Chester, Chester, Cunningham, Edward, George, Grayson, Marco, Tom, <gasps> you even lied to me. Oh. What do you mean he even lied to you? You thought, just like the rest of us, that we were Melvin's brothers. No, I didn't. He told me it was a lie, designed to motivate you for you to work for him. And you didn't tell us! I swore not to. So then what lie did he tell you? He told me that Melvin has done bad stuff, nonetheless. <laughs> he lied in that Melvin is as innocent as his clones. More innocent than them. So I'll say. Grayson, I'm, I'm sorry. Why don't you join your sworn master, Cameraman? Cameraman must pay for his crimes. Melvin Brown, it's time to smile for the camera. We know the truth, Cameraman. <sighs> now stand up. Fight me like a man, so Marco, the warrior, can deliver justice. What's that over there? Uh, it's a sword in the pillow. A brother, the prophecy, the prophecy. He that pulls the sword out of the pillows is the rightful king of Camelot. Oh. Marco, Marco the warrior! <laughs> Behold, the sword in the pillow. <laughs> Marco, the warrior! Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright, Melvin, it's time to smile for the camera. Hey, cameraman. Hey, George. You know, he look a lot better with clean teeth. Do some floss if you want. Thank you. Oh, yeah. By the way, there's um, a Bloody Mary on the counter upstairs for you. You can put any vegetables you want in it. Up to you.
Calvin. Ah, hold it right there, Carolyn. Wrap the camera. I can't. It's on the tripod. Well, shut it off anyway. Okay. Good, 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 good. Hey, come here. You know, I heard about the local police department needing a new detective. Really? Alright, Melvin, for the last time now, smile for the camera. <laughs> Hey, use your gun and search oh, the room. Sorry. Search the room. I found it. I found uh, it. You there? Uh, arrest for uh, okay. theft and harassment and robbery and right. uh, abuse right. and a lot of other stuff. That's right. Hey, put your hands behind your back. Yeah, put your hands behind your back. You got the right to remain silent. That's right. Yeah, yeah the right to remain silent. Yeah. Yeah. It's That's really right. annoying when you talk about stupid stuff. That's right. Let's go. That's Melvin, I am sorry we were able to not help you. I'm afraid you were unscientific, unmathematic. I guess we are autistic, but I am so sorry. It's okay. I I'm just glad we we're parting on good terms, yeah. Well, it's off to the farmland for me. It's off to jail for me. I don't think detectives work in jails, kind of thing. Smoke for the world is off to Camelot to claim what is rightfully its. Did you guys know what happened to uh, Tom and the other, the other guys? Chester, Cunningham, Michael, where'd everybody go? Well, I guess I can play solitaire.